So we're now looking at compound inequalities, and the difference is, is that it, well, we're starting off with looking at and uh, compound inequalities. And the difference is that we'll solve each inequality separately, uh, and then we graph them together and write the solutions in interval notation. Uh, the, the distinct difference between AND and OR, uh, it seems a little counterintuitive uh, as to how the solution is found. AND means both. It has to satisfy both inequalities. OR means it satisfies either. So with AND inequality, compound inequalities, you're looking at the combination of what is on both of their graphs, what is part of both of their solutions, and with or, we combine their graphs. We put them together because we're looking at what satisfies this one or what satisfies this one. So with this problem, we're asked to solve the compound inequality, graph the solution, and write the solution in interval notation. So we're, we'll start off by writing the compound inequalities out. So 4x minus 7 is less than 9, and 5x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 3. So I'll solve this left-hand side first. We'll add 7 to both sides. 4x is less than 16. Divide both sides by 4. We get x is less than 4. And We'll subtract 8 from both sides. 5x is greater than or equal to negative 5, 3 minus 8. Divide both sides by 5. And we get x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So how do we how do we graph this? Well let's start off. We'll we'll make a separate graph for each part of the compound inequality. So let's look at 4x minus 7 is less than 9 first. That's simply x is less than 4. We want to make sure we have both endpoints uh, of the endpoints of both inequalities in here. So I'll start at the top end with 4 and at the bottom end with negative 1. Now for x is less than 4, again since it's non-inclusive at x equals 4, we have either an open circle or a parenthesis. I'm going to use an open circle. I'll go ahead and switch colors here for differentiation purposes. And then we go to the left. And then I'll also graph our second inequality. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1. Now with the second part of our compound inequality, we have x is greater than or equal to negative 1. So since it's inclusive, we have either a square bracket or a circle that's filled in, a dot that's filled in at negative 1. I'm going to use a closed dot, and it's greater than, so we go to the right. And now for the, for the compound inequality graph, we want what satisfies both of these inequalities. What's, so what do the graphs share in common? Well, it looks like they're shared from here to here. And now we simply graph what's shared in common. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll put an open circle at 4 because that's the endpoint on the right hand side for combining the graphs when we look at what they share in common and then a closed circle or again a square bracket at negative one and then anything in between satisfies both parts of the compound inequality and in interval notation we're going from x equals negative one which is inclusive to x equals four which is not inclusive so we would have an interval notation, a square bracket, negative 1, 2, 4. And then this would be a parenthesis since it's not included. So here is our solution to 
the compound inequality, 4x minus 7 is less than 9, and 5x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 3. Uh, to check it, you could plug in any of these points that are, are graphed or that fall in the interval and verify that they do indeed make both inequalities true.